So let me think. So you have grinded a lot. You focused a lot. Went, you know, you tried a bunch of different things, got made good progress. Now you want to integrate back into the normal world and not feel like socially autistic whilst doing so. This is exactly what I've done. First, easy points you've already done, which is awesome. So I can tell you've taken action. You join the gym again, you join the um, basketball or something, some competitive sports. Next, it's specifically about reducing the time that you can work. So there's a concept called uh, Parkinson's law. Have you heard of it? Mm. In short, if you give something less time, you still kind of get it done anyway. You know, you, a, a professor says to a student, okay, here's the essay, you've got to do it, um, and the deadline is next month. Everyone will get it done. Professor tells the student, here's the essay, you've got to get it done next week. Everyone will get it done. Professor shows everyone the essay, you've got to get it done 48 hours from now, everyone will still get it done, right? So it's like, you could have done it in 48 hours. Why did we just let it like fuck up our mental health for like two? Like you, you you and you studied, so you know this. Like you literally just delayed it and just, you know what I mean? So the idea is if we just make a shorter deadline, we should be able to accomplish what we were going to accomplish anyway. So let me actually just show you what I'm on right now. And so if I show you what I was working like in like monk mode days. So, it, I mean, it's a little bit all over the place, but you can see I'm, I, the green and the dark green is is work time. The, the purple is reading and learning time, but I'm still in my room. Then there's another reading block. So I'm doing like three deep work blocks plus reading blocks, which I'm still in my room and I'm outside of my room for like one hour a day or two hours. Uh, to be fair, I never did the stretching actually, if I'm just honest. <laughs> look at this, right? Look, look how much green there is. You can see work dominates my life for a long time. This was my monk mode period. The, the, this is where I just changed the, um, the work to this purpley color. And this is when I made it on his school. So you can see I was putting some time into this. I was waking up early five hours straight away, then another two hours later on. Like this, right? So this is what I'm on right now as I'm integrating back into to normal life. Yeah, this looks okay like this. Like this. I do a big deep work block first thing in the morning. And this is what I call eat the frog. So there's a concept which a bunch of authors talk about, which is that eat the frog. The idea is that you wake up and you do the hardest task straight away. The, the task that's going to make the biggest difference. So for me, that's working on my full guides. It's not a done in school. It's not like any, you know, meetings or anything. It's literally just script the full guides that I'm making and record them. Simple as that. Uh, what's another business? Let's say, let's say copywriting. The deep work task would not be, for example, just sending DMs because you can do that whilst brain dead, right? You can eat a big fucking bowl of carbs and send DMs afterwards. The deep work task would be either writing the copy, like, you know, he's writing the emails for someone he's got clients, or it would be um, practicing and learning how to write better copy because that's going to require brain power, right? So for YouTubers, it's just pretty much recording, maybe scripting. So you can see that this is the, the main task and you can see I've got my things there. Keep the main thing the main thing and here's the four things that I can do. It's all just full guide related. So I wake up at 5 a.m. and I smash that. That's pretty much my work day done. Then all I have is like these two small things where I have some calls at like 7 p.m. and some like necessary things I've got to do right here. And then I've got a one hour block for shallow work. And this includes all messages as well. So I only check my messages once a day. So this means that in total, I'm in a work block for about five hours. But I should also mention that, you know, some parts of this is literally me waking up, going to the toilet, getting some sunlight and everything. So I work for about four and a half hours right now, which means that I've totally like brought my work to a healthy point compared to the 10 hours that I was doing before. That means that now I can spend three hours a day at the gym. So I go sit in the cafe, I speak to the waitress, I speak to people there, I get like a nice coffee and I just, you know, pretend to like be on my laptop doing something productive or something. Then I go out for like nature walks, I'm speaking to more people, like I've got calls with like other entrepreneurs, so I socialize with them and then I've got my learning time. This should be relative to your level of success. So it's like, you know, me showing, everyone's just seen, okay, I work three or four hours a day but it, I just worked 12 hours a day for months. And even before that, for the last like one and a half years, I just worked and I pretty much did nothing else apart from work and gym for, for the last three years, right? So it's like, I've put in the time for this. Now it's like, it's actually higher ROI for me to step away from the computer because you know, of the, the leverage that I've got with the YouTube channel, it's like me working an extra hour isn't gonna change anything, but me actually like making a new friend and being able to tell a new story is gonna change something. So if, for example, if I was in like, a more of a beginner stage and I was not making much money or anything and you know that was almost a constraint of my life I still would be working in work mode solid four six eight ten hours a day 
that's what I would be grinding on.